you can make the best rice inside the Instant Pot. So you can do white rice or I like to use the brown rice. But today I'm going to do my white rice. So usually when I make rice I get comments that I didn't wash my rice. I'm going to try harder to wash it. So I'm going to measure out one cup of rice then I'm going to go and rinse it so that the water runs clear. Once it's all clear and all clean, I'm going to go ahead and dump my rice just right into the bottom of my Instant Pot. Now for me, I like to add one and one fourth cup of liquid per every cup of rice. So if you're going to have two cups of rice, you're going to have two and a half cups of liquid. And you can use water or chicken broth. Um, right now I'm just using water, although I love using chicken broth. Then when you're done, go ahead and put the lid on, make sure it's closed all the way, and you're going to turn your knob to sealing, not venting. Now lots of Instant Pot machines have a rice cooker, but there are some that don't. And so I'm going to go back to my manual. If you don't have a manual button, it's high pressure or normal, whatever it uses to make it pressurize. And then if you're doing brown rice you're going to do 20 minutes if you're doing white rice you're going to go down to eight then you're going to let it release on its own that's what the l means um, for about five to ten minutes so i'm nine minutes close enough i'm going to flip the knob over to venting and open up my lid then when you're all done you just go ahead and mix your rice around now if you love jasmine rice jasmine rice in the instant pot is delicious